So Deet Swinney, back in the dugout, the new man of ground, back with Ilkeston Town Football Club. First of all, what was the driving factors? A uh, massive club, to be honest, when that opportunity came up. Um, it was something that, you know, we was all in agreement that we wanted to be here. Um, we, me and Swinney, obviously being here previously, we know what this club is about, we know what the fans are like. It's a fortress, um, it's a sleeping giant of a football club, so you know, hopefully we can help galvanise that and kick it on. Um, you know, we, we're really excited for the opportunity, really excited for the, we're grateful for the opportunity. Um, you know, the previous guys have done a fantastic job, you know, um, sometimes this happens in football, it happened to us recently as well. Um, but all you can do is move forward, um, we're firmly ready to go. So, if you've seen much of the squad so far this season, is there anything that you would like to implement yourselves into the squad and anything that you're looking forward to, to doing with the set of players that's already here? Yeah, this, we've got a really good nucleus of a squad here. Um, and I think, you know, it's about us assessing them and them getting used to us and it's going to be that kind of um, first initial training session, just introducing each other, getting to know each other, I think. But, you know, I'm under no illusion, we've got very, very good players here, high calibre players. Um, and I think the style of football that we want to play uh, is quite attacking, it's dynamic. Um, you know, people have seen our teams over the last few years and how we attack teams and, um, you know, we want to put pressure on teams and, and ultimately win games of football. Um, and Swinney does a lot of the coaching. Um, so he will be driving the, the standards in that and the players will be driving the standards. And, you know, we won't expect the very best of the players that say this and we'll give them the opportunity to, to showcase what they can do to us. So Swinney, you're also back with the club, yeah. some fun memories. How excited are you to be back as well? Yeah, very excited. It's like um, coming home, you know, I had a good career as a player here, three seasons and, and was very successful with that. And also obviously on the coaching staff when we uh, got promotion from step six and step five. So yeah, very excited to be back and um, just, just waiting to get going and um, excited to go. So on the socials in the last few days, the supporters know what to expect from you. They're very excited by the appointment before it's even even announced. Um, what what kind of football can the supporters expect from, from yourselves and the coaching team? I can say it's an attacking style of football. Um, we, will, we will go for it every game. We'll try and win every game. Um, you know, we'll play our way. Um, it's quite um, a fast-paced environment to play football in. You have to be fit to play in it. But, you know, the fans, all the fans want is the lads giving 110% out of the um, and this crowd, you know, they're not daft, they know when you are and when you aren't. And I think, you know, that's what we're going to demand the bare minimum is when you're in the building, every time you come training, every time you play games, you know, you're in it, you're 100% in it. Um, and I think that's what we'll demand as a coaching staff from our players. And, you know, like I said, the fans also want to see, you want to see the lads probably shift in. Um, but we're going to go and attack. You know, I've probably got a little bit of pent up frustration from being a goalkeeper and defending all my life. Uh, I want my team to go and attack, I'm a manager though. Well, we're going with 5-4, you know, if I have to, uh, it's about winning game of football. So, we're still early on in the season, just a few games played. What would you say your short-term goals are straight away and then going into the end of the season? Where would you like to see the players in the, in the squad? I think to be at the top end of the league, you know, fight for something. Um, you know, I think any manager that sits in front of a camera and I guess that's that question is lying if they don't feel that they want to go and win something that season. You know, that's what you play football for, that's what we do it for, that's what we love it for. So, you know, we've got a real intensity to do that, the desire to do that. Um, the players will have that, you know, um, and I think that's about us, you know, getting used to them and them getting used to us. Um, I'm a big believer in respect is earned, it's not given. I have to earn theirs and they have to earn mine, but I think they're all going to get the opportunity to showcase what they can do. Um, and like I said, our coaching team will demand, demand the very best of them. Um, and once you get to that point and you're out there playing football, um, you just love playing football, winning games, it's a habit, you know, it spirals from that. So, uh, but initially, obviously, we've got to assess the team and, you know, introduce ourselves and get to know them. And um, once we've done that, we'll work on a few things, try and implement how we want to play. And, you know, I'll pick it, the team based on what I see. Anything you'd like to add to me? No, it's just about coming in now and having a look at them all, um, giving them the opportunity to showcase what they can do for us. and whether they want to be in that team when we start on Saturday.